Have it, you seen? Did you see the new Spider Man? Yes. Who's your favorite Spider Man? We, we talked about this, right? Yeah, yeah, we talked about this for sure. I've never seen Garfield, so I can't like really make. Bro, he was fantastic. Oh, he was great. I think Tom Holland's the perfect Spider Man, though. The more I'm I've, watching. I've changed. I think he's the closest to like what the comic books is or are, but mm. just like really like that nerdy. Watching like, all really, three like, of them together, I was like, you, they're all amazing. They're so good, way. especially together. You're like, they're so different. Are they all in the whole thing? Well, you gotta yeah. see it. Not the, yeah. yeah, they come. Not in, the whole yeah. thing, but yeah. have you you've seen all three of the new Toms? Yeah. Brandy. No, he hasn't seen the newest Tom. You've seen the first two. Yeah. Are you just guessing? No, I'm sure. <laughs> I, <have. laughs> I think I have. I have. I That's have. crazy though. He must have been like on his gymnast grind. Like the training for that had to have been crazy. Based off that, I'm like, he's wow. jacked. I know that. He's, I mean, he's good, jacked, bro. Too. He's good. You remember <laughs> me and G used to go to this uh, this uh, gymnastics class? Bro, I used to wear like cargo shorts, and they'd push me down into a split, and I'd be bro, like, bro, it was fucked up. It was wow. almost like abusive. <laughs> you wore cargo <laughs> shorts? Yeah, I would wear cargo shorts, like. Cargo shorts, like you guys know what they are. <laughs> to gymnastics? To gymnastics. Like wow. I never thought, like let's get on athletic gear. Like <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know what we're doing. I'm surprised our parents. <laughs> I'm surprised your parents weren't like, "Yo, wear some not cargo shorts." I was probably just like, "Man, nah, fuck it." Like, no, I'm good, bro. It's crazy though. If you didn't, if you don't hold a handstand for more than like five seconds, they would just like give you a rib shot, kick you. Yeah, no, I didn't. Like a nice easy one, you know, like kink. Yeah, like stay up. <laughs> Like you'd it be wasn't like, like a, on all fours, and they'd be like, they'd be like, like knock you over. <laughs> what course was this? Uh, Mr. Martin's or something. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Martin's, bro. It was gymnastics? in like some sketchy ass warehouse in like the back of. It was like in this middle of like the strip of warehouses where like bro. people manufactured shit, and then like there was a, a bunch of kids training gymnastics in this big old gymnastics warehouse. I want to go do that as an adult. I guess we're adults, like, but like I want to do that, and I also want to do like jujitsu, like, and make those two things like. Oh, on Tuesday we got jujitsu. On Thursday, we, we have, have gymnastics. gymnastics, and then we would just be so athletic. We'd become beasts, bro. I remember the pommel horse used to scare me. I was like, there's no What's way I'm whipping horse? around. You know, like, they, like, have their fucking... Oh, yeah. They have the two yeah. handles, and they're, like, whipping around. And I was like, bro, there's no way I'm getting a full whip around. Where are those big uh, trampolines that you can jump very high? Defy gravity? They were in there as well. Oh, well, those are a gym. Like the gym. They had a huge one. Yeah. You need to go to one. Jump really high. You, like, they're, you like, professional trampolines. They're, like, yeah. you can jump way higher than normal You could probably... You could probably like touch like a forty, a uh, thirty foot ceiling. Yeah, it's not a backyard trampoline. It's like a fucking. Like people, but does it hurt your legs when you come down? No, uh-huh. it's like very giving. Yeah, it's true. It's almost like it the really internet. Giving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so it giving. giving. <laughs> it did give. They must um, just have like ultra springs or something. Right? But that place was crazy because <laughs> yeah. I remember on the trampoline, if we didn't like jump past a certain threshold or like do the trick for the day, like they would molest us. Oh. Sexually? Yeah. And like, I, trust me, we repressed this because it started coming back to me as of late, but like. That's yeah. kind of hot though. No, you know what's crazy? They is for sure touched all of us. I Wait, really are we talking about church or I, gymnastics? <laughs> probably both. I don't remember much of the church days either. It was your priest, wasn't it? He was the gymnastics he coach. Ran, yeah. Yeah. Wait, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? Were we even in a gym? Was that even a gym? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't remember much from that place. So, like, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> <laughs> like, there are some like things I'm like, wait, I had a whole like two months of going to this thing and. I don't remember, I remember a single thing from it. Yeah, it's like I wonder like how many things I suppressed from my childhood. Not because like I've actually got molested there, I don't think, but you know, <laughs> just uh, but who knows? I just mean, like, like traumatic. Nah, stuff. we're all pretty like level headed, but like yeah. sure. maybe you can be level headed. Like, <laughs> like you're just... level headed, but like they may, might not have been. Like, I remember the dude but... who ran it. His son, his son was like kind of like the, you know, he was younger. He was probably like late twenties. I remember he was the first guy that I heard like curse around me, like. He would say like, "Oh, I quit being a jackass." And, like he kept, he would always say that to kids who were jacking off, and I was like, <laughs> "Just messing around, I'm not jacking off." Kids are sneaking into the corner. I can't by the tell mats. what's real now. Like, kids were shooting blanks at the age of six. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, this that is was not a good me. time, though." But he would just be like, "Hey, quit being a jackass," and I was like, "Oh my god, bro, you're bold." <laughs> you ain't Logan. He said when kids were jacking off, <laughs> <laughs> jacking around. I should have said. Uh, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> If you think about it, my name, Jack Johnson, literally just means to masturbate. To Jack your Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson. About to go Jack Johnson. It's all, it, my, my name is so all crazy. Of, my full thought. name is just all about self-pleasure. It's crazy. Edward, even. Edward, yeah. What does that mean? In old Latin, it means, like, to tug a bunch or something. <laughs> <laughs> to tug to a bunch. Edward, you're Jack. <laughs> um, yeah, Tom, Tom Holland, he's great. But, I don't know, all the Spider-Mans are good. Okay, this is for real, though. After analyzation, after talking to Sammy, uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman's clearly are cut above. I think of the new one. They're much different, and I but, do but, personally enjoy them more. I guess more enjoyable is what I should say. I don't yeah. know, if, like cinematically, like the new ones were very, like you know, dark, like noir, 
Like, yeah, I never saw it. So <laughs> no, don't spoil, uh, no spoilers. Like that. Oh, you, you haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't even spoil it. I'll just anyway. like ta- I'll just tell you about it. the general cinematography. But like Ray said, it was like dope. Though. Visually, it was sick, but it was yeah. much more like long and drawn out. Like I was like Robert, just say your lines, dude. You don't have to give me all this <clears throat> fucking suspense. So there wasn't high were you? Because very high. So I, I don't know. I never once thought that he said very high. You didn't. I would give it in, like anywhere between a seventy nine and eighty three percent. Okay, I, I think that's fair. I would probably give it. It's a good there movie, too. but it's just a little sl- moves a little it slow. Moves a little slow. And like, there's like not much dialogue. No, you didn't see it. You need to see it. Patrick, I think it's more how like the the comic books were like a dark emo kid. It's probably more accurate historically with like how Batman's supposed to be framed. It is dark. But yeah, I'm like I felt like he only had one emotion the whole time, as opposed to when you watch we just watched the Bale Bane one, Batman yeah. Rising, Dark Knight. He's Rises. like a playboy. Yeah, as well. and like he has a very vast range of emotions, and like he's goofy at times. Like Robert is just like he's just stern. I feel like as we could have done Robert. Like he doesn't do anything. Right, right. It's just a bunch of glares for the most yeah, part. Yeah, he just like looks. Zoe Kravitz is just fucking she's, fine. She's it's, a like, winner. Insane. It's scary. She's cool. She's but cool. yeah, I would say 70, 79 to eighty three. You know, somewhere in that range. I, I like the cinematography though. It was sick. Like some of these shots, like yeah. you as like a you know visual. Uh, I'm just thinking about Zoe Kravitz. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> yeah. She's so she's so cool. They should never cast another Catwoman. Yeah. I thought Rihanna would be great. Like, though. Anne, Hathaway? Anne Hathaway was she fantastic. was, but then she was. Zoe Kravitz she's just, just has an amazing like, actress. Yeah. Bro. Wait, who is who was Anne Hathaway with? Was that Bale? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was with Bale. And yeah, that was with the one with Bane. In Bane. The third. Yeah. I I've obviously seen that multiple times, but I'm about to rewatch that. They just I have like, they, they, they have a lot of better it. dynamic to me. It's like, oh, I feel like a more like it's more up tempo, like whoo, like more action. There was a lot of action in this new one, but like it felt like it was just drawn out to get to the action points. Who directed this one? Uh, what's his name? The guy that did the Planet of the Apes. Uh, Scotty Vanity? War of the Planet of the Apes. It was. <laughs> I want to do your makeup when, when you, you wake, wake up. Oh my God, your YouTube. Okay, but does anyone know who that is, or is that like a very niche market? If anyone niche? knows, if anyone knows who Scotty Vanity who is, is let's go to the mall. Matt Just Reeves, drop, drop a Matt card. Reeves, yeah. He uh, did War the Planet of the Apes. Keanu's, right? yeah, he read it. Brother? he read it. He wrote it. <laughs> he okay, wrote the it. funniest part though to me of this entire new Batman is the fact that they frame the Riddler as like you know this guy who start this guy who's starting a movement and you know he's a. Uh, He's here to like save Goth- uh, Gotham and de- don't spoil. yeah. Are you gonna spoil? No, no. Of course, I'm okay. just saying that's what he's framed as. It's like this mm-hmm. guy who wants to decorrupt Gotham and expose everyone, essentially. And then he's starting this movement, and then they talk in this one scene. They're like, "Yeah, the Riddler has over 500 followers already on social media," and this is like at his peak. <laughs> yeah. And then it, like it shows him and like his he has like 563 followers, and I'm like, "What kind of movement is this, bro?" <laughs> It's like yeah, it's kind of true. It's, it's like, like QAnon, bro. It was just I'm just like not that followers matter. They, they, hey, followers don't matter, guys. Okay, in any circumstance. <laughs> nice, Jay, you but if put... you're if you're the Riddler and like it just like seemed like a very uh... maybe he is just an extremely active fan base because like at the end <laughs> like all, all 500 were his probably engagement hard. is through the roof. No, That's what right. people are talking about. There's probably 500 Gothamites who like all. How's were he getting for so him. many views? He's got like a thousand followers. Like 98 percent engagement. Yeah, he was like hijacking like news broadcasts and he could still only get like 500 followers. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of wild to me. I'm like, why'd you have to add that part? Like, nobody ca- <laughs> nobody cares about his follower count. Yeah, that's... But, or at least make it, oh, the Riddler's got 120,000 followers. Like, that's like something just like impressive. A like, little oh, more captivating. He's a force to be reckoned with, but it's like 563? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they can take him out. So oh, it's man. set in now, I it's guess. It's set in now. Yeah. He's doing like IG lives and shit, like riling up the people. <laughs> I'm like, bro, get the fuck off social media, t- bro. terrible service. Like, no Wi-Fi. He's, he's doing IG lives off 5G. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Maybe LTE. He yeah. might have he might have had Wi-Fi in his apartment, though. I don't know. But did you see how, like, this, you know? I think I was, like, part of the... The, 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 the grime. Yeah. Part of the mystique of yeah. him. Yeah. He, like, he wrenched his own Wi-Fi, like... <laughs> So they yeah. make him like dirty. Grimy. That actor is a great Riddler, though. Uh, Who was you've seen he? Prisoners? He's the tweaky kid from What's Prisoners. Yeah. Paul Dano. Prisoners. Paul Dano. Dano. Paul Dano. He's nice. Prisoners, where what they uh, Jalen Hall, where like they kidnap the kids or whatever. He's fucking and, dope. And they try to blame him. He's like the kid who's off, and him and Hugh Jackman. Remember they like capture him and start torturing him, Beat even the though fuck it really out wasn't of him. him. Bro, and, like, that movie's fucking. The lady has the kids underground or whatever. Oh, we watch yeah, it together. It's super vague. It's deep yeah. in there. But he's like the, so he's like the tweaky kid who like seems like the school shooter vibe. And it's, like, so obviously him, but, like, it ends up not being him, you know? But he is a very similar character to that. When I was, like, I know this guy. I know this face. And I was, like, oh, it's Prisoners, bro. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was a great movie. I, like, I would tell anyone to go see it. Like, go see it, you know? Totally. It's yeah. such a good movie. I love did Christian Did you see the Adam Bell. Project, too? I did. Fucking good. Yeah. 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 Adam Project? Yeah, very well. Like I was it. watching it with my dad, and we just, had, like, had to hug after. I was, like, I got to hug. Damn, family. you know? Yeah, like mm. Mark Ruffalo. I'm I guess sure we, that, I guess sure we do have 30 bit. minutes left. There's another movie at the finish. Oh, you should definitely see it. <laughs> but, like, I kind of know what it's going to be, you know? It's like... Well, let me think about the ending. Mm. 
I don't think you know. But it's a 68 on Rotten Tomatoes. I feel like <laughs> they give you what you want at 68. But, yeah. What's a 68 on it? But, but that movie is rankings yeah. in the first week. It's a six. They usually go up after the first week. It's a like, seven. It's a six. It's, it's like a six point eight. I would say the kid was really fucking good. Kid was good. He's he acted exactly like Ryan Reynolds. I can't wait to see him grow up and like do his I thing. I was like just impressed with the way he delivered lines. I was like, yeah, yeah. fucking uh-huh. intelligence. Can you know, he's no, smart he's smart as as. As all, as all get out. As all get out. Yeah, Straight I've been up. watching the NCIS too, like the new one, the 19th season show. Oh. No, my dad started from the beginning, and I'll just watch like a couple episodes here and there. And that show is a hit. It's definitely. A hit. I mean, it has to be. I haven't. I think Mark I'm Harmon, seen him. bro. Mark Harmon. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a lot of good cinema coming out these days. There's like I don't know why. I, I never watched that when I was like, because what it came out in like 2003 or something. So I was so young. So crazy how long ago that was now. But I did. I did some background work on one of the episodes. I was like, had to watch no it a little bit. You're in it. Like yeah, one of them. I think I don't know what season 17 or 18. Like yeah, you, there's no somewhere. way. Probably, I was in a nightclub scene. There, I don't even know. I never the, looked the before. gay club. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. It was the one you had to kiss like one of the guys. What is it <laughs> called flaming <laughs> flaming. Pinkies? <laughs> Something yeah, like that. Pinkies. Oh, yeah, yeah. my goodness. That was one of the um, best episodes, actually. So. Yeah. How was your B-Day, Bruce? It was good. Yeah, it was nice. Chill. Wait, w- when was it again? 7th. March 7th. I called you on the 5th, and I called you fucking, I forgot, on the 7th, and the then I called you the 8th. You didn't answer fucking day. Well, it's because you would expect yeah, like, some, see, like, crazy some people story. were calling me on my birthday, and I just didn't answer anybody. I was just chilling with them. You, you answered one, you got to answer them was so funny, though. He just kept texting me. He's like, y- I know you're ducking me right now. <laughs> He's like, I'm in- tapped in with your brothers. They say you're sitting right next to them. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Birthdays can be overwhelming, though, because it's like, yo, if I respond to something, or like if I post like a couple people's stories on my story, then I got Oh, my God. And that's the I one. That's why I didn't post one. Yeah, I literally yeah, yeah. didn't repost races. Like, no. mine's yeah. in three days, and I'm like, the day this episode comes out, actually. And, uh... Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, think yeah. I've ever comments. Like, you love me. <laughs> I haven't been, like... I've been celebrating so much over the last five years for pretty much no reason, just partying. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I feel like... I want reasons to celebrate now as opposed Correct. to just like getting for sure. Like, I want to do something. Like, Bro, just... what I haven't earned shit, done shit. Like I don't know. I'm just. I want to have a very casual birthday, <clears throat> beach day, maybe a little tattoo party. We oh, got a, I think so got a tattoo good. artist lined up. Mm-hmm. Um, but. I was like, bro, you guys remember my birthday last year at the crib? It was like, yeah. we had like 200 people in bro, the crib. so many people. It was so fucking loud. I, was I had like, to end up, I actually slept at Bruce's that night because I was like, I can't, I can't sleep. I wasn't this in go. the middle of your 75 hard too? Yeah, and I was like, fuck, this sounds like so much fun. But like, it and was, I, after wait, we sung can you give me some birthday. highlights from that night? Cause it's I mean, kind of I'm boring. sure it's the same as the other ones. Trez was there. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was, like, one highlight. But <laughs> <laughs> it was just, like, I mean, just, like, rambunctious, you know? Yeah. Like, like pub, beer pong, loud music. Just, yeah. I don't really remember much, to be Girls? honest. But it wasn't, like, Zion the, and yeah. Edward dancing. Edward. Edward. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, this, this year I want to, like... Fucking Robert Pattinson. I really want to remember my birthday and, you know, just have it with the people that I'm, like, I really <laughs> yeah, Catch with, a cool know? buzz. Do what you love to do, but you don't have to be surrounded by, like... A ton of randos. Innocent yahoos, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, how'd you get into this mix? It's like, I think oh. definitely activities. Like, we should go biking on the beach. We should... Just be Nash Greer for a day? Yeah. 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 Live like the Greers. Yeah. yeah. I like that idea. Where's Hayes? Is he here? He's in Vegas, but I think he, he might have missed his there? flight. Yeah, oh, I, I think see he might be stuck. Vega, he, uh, <laughs> he just did like a huge, he threw an after party or something. He threw an NFT festival. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Everyone was there. Like, like Miles we was probably there. Like, been a few there. of my friends from Arizona were there. Like, there must have actually I just, funny. there's nothing in me that wants to be like in a no, Vegas. No, no but I could go gamble. I would love to play some roulette right now. I mean, we've had a couple good Vegas experiences. Like, I mean, not good in terms no, of like. some of the best. But uh, yeah, yeah. Memory is great, but definitely hurt the wallets a little bit. I always bring cash. And I always leave with cash. Did you? You were the only one who came up in our whole group. I think it was well, like me, you, Adam, Mike, like that whole group. But it's tough. You sit down. Three hours go by. You're having free drinks. You're just like, yeah, oh, yeah. Bro, I'll bring. I think I'll bring like a grand every time. That I'm like, okay, I'm willing to lose this grand. And if I lose it, then I don't. I would never take it out anymore. You know, like. I always go get That's more. That's great though. discipline. It's so easy always, to go get more. Bro, yeah. What? And I always get up way high, and then I always end up losing all of it plus more. Yeah. <laughs> were you there when, uh, <laughs> like, fuck, when we were there dude. with Ryland? Yeah, yeah. Were you there yeah, wait. when? when I don't yes, with Ross. And you guys were like trying to like silently. It was Ross, Ryland, and you. And I was like sleeping, but we had the same room. And I was like, I'm going to bed. And then like two hours later, you guys come up and like you're like whispering, like hitting the jewel. Like, can I hit the jewel? Like, <laughs> like trying to find the jewel and shit. And I just remember I was like so tired. I don't know why, because I was definitely like getting really fucked up and up active, with you right? Guys. Yeah. Bro, but he would just go back every time and pull out another grand. And I'm like, bro, you, R- Ryland has like he doesn't give a fuck. No, he doesn't give a fuck. And he and he likes to I think he likes to think he's really good at it, but <laughs> yeah. is anyone good at it? Like, oh, like no, he, that's he, why it's a thing. He yeah. put a hundred dollars on thirty-five black every fucking time in roulette. 
every single time. But if you do it 35 times and hit once, you have all your money back. Yeah, you'll make 3,500, you know? But, like, yeah. it's like, bro, he was just going in. And I was like, damn, not much self discipline, but, like, it's that's bro, a fun watching way to go that about type it. of shit gives me anxiety. That will, yeah. yeah. Like that movie Molly's Game, like, oh my God. Oh my God. Is that Tobey Maguire? Yeah. Because after seeing him that's in the Spider Man, who I'm like, is. like, Player X is supposed to be who no, like, Michael so Sarah good. plays. They say that's supposed to be him. Yeah. Bro, and the thing is, there's there's nothing worse than than being up a lot and then you end up like losing everything. Because like yeah. all I was up like probably three four grand this trip. I think it was maybe over EDC or some shit. Yeah. And I was like, okay, every time I make a five hundred chip, I'm gonna get a five hundred chip and I'm gonna keep it in my. Uh, I had like a fanny pack on or like a, a satchel. Yeah, of course. I was like, I'm gonna keep the five hundred chip in there. And I was I had like four or five five hundred chips in there. And I was like, and then I just, I would lose. Free drinks are coming around, you know, get me all sauced up. Hey, and then let I'd me be just like, take the five. All right, break I'll it. break one of these five hundred chips, and then I would lose that whole one. And then I ended up with fucking zero, bro. By the end, yeah. Every it's time easy. you reach back in your pot, you're like, wait, where did they all go? Yeah, it was just crazy, bro. Um, it's fucking five p.m. and you were playing last night. Yeah, and then like in the middle of it, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm about to tap out, and like some fucking rich guy comes by and throws like fucking two grand on red and hits it, and like then I'm like, oh god, <laughs> the table's hot. Back. The table, <laughs> table's hot. We gotta move tables. Yeah, Vegas is fucking... Bro, remember that pool party we were at? It was like a really ratchet pool party. Me, you, Big Mike, Adam. In Vegas? In Vegas. And Juddy was there. We were with Juddy. Yeah. And uh, I think we all did like a little Molly oh, or something. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Oh, yeah. And then one of the... We, there was someone who knew us, like, was a fan of our music or mm -hmm. something. And she was like working security, but like kind of just like an ambassador. Or what do they call him? Um, an, uh, an usher. An usher, yeah. An usher. <laughs> and, and she like she like let us go to this like bar that was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not open till like a certain time, and we were there early. And she just fed us drinks. That was good. That was the night me and Abud were slinging calculators all over the place. I've seen those videos. What? We walked through a conference room, just like, <laughs> we were Fuck. fucked up on like oh a concoction. Oh my god, I saw that. That was a crazy, that's <laughs> like... Fucking throwing calculator. Bro, we were just on like a concoction. I think Adam had some like Adderall, and I think we would have been on a little Molly. I mean, wicked combo. Don't mix drugs, guys. But uh, we happened to in this instance, and we were walking through this conference room. It was set up the next day for like some sort of calculator conference. A bunch of like <laughs> TI-85, you know, Texas <laughs> Instrument Johns. All just like set up perfectly. I saw these videos. And like, then me and Adam <laughs> I need this. don't even remember this. We just walk. I guess there's. A, I was filming the whole thing, like first person, like fuck these calculators. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just walking through, and we'll, like <laughs> Adam would grab like a whole handful <laughs> and just sling them across the hallway. <laughs> and I was, and then, bro, this we bro. left this conference room in shambles. And I was like, what did we just do? Sometimes bro? it's the most fun. Thing like one time I was in a hotel and I ripped off the exit sign and just like threw it in the fucking elevator lobby. Oh my God. Like just and you always get away with it in these like really crazy moments for some reason. Oh my god, yeah. It was in like Chicago, wasn't it? That was in Chicago. Yeah. I definitely Digi just, tour. I definitely but you just like jumped up and pulled it off. Literally, I was like. Fuck this, dude. Like, I see why, like, the rock stars would, like, just fucking trash their hotel rooms. Because I'm like, bro, that shit's kind of fun, you know? <laughs> like, Just so it's fucked. So it's fun. really fucked up, but it's, you know, it gives you this kind of rush. You're like, yeah, I'm not supposed to be vandalizing this. Cause it's it makes me want to be young again, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, it's fun. I want to take a bat to a plasma TV and <laughs> not my hotel room. <laughs> bro, we would just take bats to mailboxes in high school. We probably... took cars to mailboxes. No, we yeah. did. Yeah, we probably Another should. Adam story. This is all just a joke, by the way. We never actually <laughs> did this. <laughs> Oh my god, we need this video that has to be somewhere. It has to be on somebody's phone from Someone. fucking there. Mike Kiger has it. Come on. It's gotta have it. He has Jonathan everything. showed me it. No, no, not that one. No, the one of the car. We, we had just gotten back from our first MagCon, I think. <laughs> we were on and we one. were like kinda high on life. We're like, what the fuck? We have like fans and like we just like did an event and we made we made 150 bucks or what was it, 50 bucks? I have no idea. Whatever. I, but we were 50 lit. Bucks. We came back and we were juiced and <laughs> we we uh we took our buddy Adam's car to go get <clears throat> what were we doing? We were going to the gas station to get some beer or something. Yeah, yeah, to bring him back to the party and be like, Look at us, we paid for the booze, like let's yeah, get drunk. Yeah, exactly. I think you had a fake at the time too. Definitely. And for some reason, like <laughs> we were just fucking we just hit a bunch of mailboxes. <laughs> and then finally one broke the front windshield and <laughs> Well you guys weren't drunk yet. No, no, we weren't drunk. No, yet. well I was hammered. We were oh, hammered. Were you? <laughs> I was driving. Is that oh bad? Like you were driving and I was driving, I was blacked out. Yeah. It was like a gas station in the neighborhood, so we were I bad think, stuff. I think we, we kinda of justified it like, oh, it's right there. I don't know how close it was. <laughs> That's <laughs> I mean, it was all so bad. Bro, we got so lucky so many times. It makes me question if this is real, if I'm alive. Bro, yeah, it's like, really literally. Yeah. Like, like I, I, think, had to, I had to pull out 
I had like a thousand dollars in my bank account from forever since I was zero. Like yeah, from your forever. savings. Your and man. I had to sneak it out somehow, and I got <laughs> it out and had to pay Adam's mom to fix their his car because the windshield was broken and like the whole front was dented up. Oh, yeah, and Adam said like some rocks kicked up on the highway. Yeah, well, I was like, shit. bro, you have to, you have to. I think it was right Street. after my fucking theft charge. So I was like, bro, this is all yeah, bad. Yeah, we went through like a really this... bad phase in high school. Just but better than a lot, you know? Thinking we were impervious. And I think a lot of kids kind of go just, through yeah, that. It sounds like... It's normal just, high school it's just, kids. Yeah, it's we devious. were un- indestructible for the for the hundred percent part, not for the most part, like for all of it. Bro, it's fucked yeah. up. We I mean, were it, indestructible. it literally took fucking Corf getting in his drunk driving accident yeah. for kids to stop. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah, that was fucked. And up. then even then, like, we didn't do that shit after that at all. Like throughout the, throughout the rest of high school, yeah. we were like, oh, our fucking buddy died from a drunk driving accident. Like Jesus Christ! Now mm-hmm. at the time for our whole school, our whole city to damn near wake up because kids just thought they were invincible. But then, like, you know, we got back there a couple years later after we had, like, come out to L.A. And, like, fucking kids were just doing the same shit. And I'm like, bro, this is just yeah. a bad culture, you know? Like, it's it's fucked up. Because, like, you know, you start, yeah, thinking, like, you start thinking you're good at, like, drunk driving. And sh- it's just, like, fucked up. I feel like middle America loves drunk driving. Yeah, because no one's around. No one's going to be on the highway. Like, yeah, it's bad. No one needs to be around for you to die. Like, you'll just fuck yourself up. Yeah. Thinking you're, yeah, bro. Thinking you can whip. Just fucking, hey, that's what Uber's for, guys. <laughs> Hands off the wheel, you know, if you're, if you're fake. Yeah, yeah, or just fucking have a I good just, time wherever you are. I just look back, though, and I just, like, cringe at, like, the some of the shit we did. Yeah, the decisions course, we made, you of know? Of course, of course. I mean, but that's just the learning experience. No, for sure. Yeah. Big it's, time. It's, we learned. Yeah. It's all good. Are, should we do Ask the Cast at the beginning? Or, I guess we're not in the beginning. <laughs> I mean, we can do it right now if you want. <laughs> have we started? No, I don't think we have. Yeah, started. Okay, <laughs> okay. We're trying to film it, have we? Um... <laughs> Welcome, guys. It's a Hello. good little segment we like to do. Hello. Uh, Sammy, what's the segment called? Don't do that. It's your thing. Okay. I, that's what I thought. It was a test. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just slap you. Um, you know, every week we like to do a segment called Ask the Cast. We ask for fans submitted questions. I went through and picked out a few this week. Uh, should we get to it? Let's get to it, Should Johnson. we see what the people want to know? I want to know. Who do we got know. and what do they have to say? All right. This is a big debate all over the interwebs right now. I hate that fact that I just said interwebs, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. It, it's a real phrase. Um, it's obvious too to me, but I want to hear your guys' perspectives. Maybe if you guys haven't heard about the debate, uh, are there more wheels or, or doors in the world? Are there wheels more wheels or doors? or doors in the world? It's this huge debate all over TikTok. No way. Are there? Are you team wheels or are you team doors? I'm t- I'm team. And I want to hear your decision as to why. I'm team wheels. I'm team wheels. Mm. I'm are, team wheels. Are there more structures or are there more vehicles? I think there's more vehicles. Isn't that what it comes down to? No. Well, okay. Wait, is it saying the whole world? Wait, but there's whole four world. doors more on wheels? every car for every Fuck, wheel. There's a lot there's of like some places cars that with don't. two doors and four wheels because every car needs wheels. Fact. Yeah, but every every structure has no wheels and multiple doors. But every structure, let's say an office building, has like office chairs that all have four wheels swiveling around. Whoa. And then you got like Hot suitca- Wheels cars, suitcases. Suitcases, you got Hot, Hot Wheels. Wheels cars have doors as well, but they don't open. Are they technically a door if they don't if they don't open? But a door has to actually function as a door. If you does it? It's it. still I think a door. More wheels. There's just more. There's gotta wheels. be right. Wheels. Think there's about like be. the eighteen wheelers. You know, big old trucks. You got fucking uh, uh, skateboards. You know, bikes. Anything <laughs> of that nature. <laughs> yeah. Roller blades. They got four. But in then there. I saw someone say, "Okay, you count a cabinet as a door." No. It's you know? a cabinet. That's a cabinet. It, no one says, "Oh, that it's in the it's behind the door." And even if the cabinets were doors, I still don't think it would even come close. No one enters a oh, cabinet. Oh, so you're confident? Are we entering cabinets? No. Does this have any? I think it's a no-brainer. Caffeine? Wheels, though, right? I don't even know how the debate that got started. That's a really good question. I don't get it. Why? Like they seem so like not related. Not even or, comparable. Like, correlated. I feel in like anywhere. wheels just shits on doors, but you know that's me. Well, there's a lot of door. There's a lot of doors. There's a lot of doors. There are. Like, there's there's like probably billions. A big doors. ass yacht. Well, but uh, there's, there's no like wheel so that's like really yacht. by itself. You know, like there's a few things, but like like that one board that people ride that has wheels one come wheel. in pairs for the most. But like part. That's unless what you're I'm a saying, unicyclist like, or something, you know. There's always more wheels. There's got to be more wheels. Yeah. Yeah, I think wheels. You know what's crazy is people get in super heated debates, and no one will ever know that answer. No. No one. It's impossible. You can guess logically and like break it down, but yeah, but there's no way then. to quantifiably actually know how many wheels there are versus doors. You know, yeah. it's there's really be, no it's way. It's gotta to be know. wheels, but it's gotta be wheels, right? <laughs> it's gotta be wheels. Um, okay. More wheels in here for sure. Three three V Maddie asks if uh, animals could talk, which one do you think would be the rudest? The rudest? Koala bears. 
Koala would be rude? Yeah. Really? Why do oh, you say that? When you take away that. their eucalyptic <clears throat> sleeves they when, seem they're, so when docile. they're feeding, they're f- no, they go fucking ape shit. Okay, but what Everybody about- that's like, uh, that I, I've never met one, but everyone that I've heard that's met, like, gone and held them. And they oh, don't I get the, they start like freaking out, like really? freaking out. They're like the biggest addicts for their eucalyptus. That's sleep. wild. Cause we held a koala in Australia. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's he so was, cool. He was pretty chill. And it was like, it was like, it would, it wouldn't float if you threw it in the water. That's how it felt, you know? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, dense. it was dense Very and dense. like un- Small and dense. It's like this thing would sit. Yeah, it but would yeah. Be, have you but seen maybe, that movie? Wait, wait. What was the question again? They must have fed him. They must have fed him some eucalyptus. If they could talk, you said. Yeah. Who would be the? But rudest? like maybe he. Yeah, I might take that back because like maybe like he's misunderstood. True. True. And like the fact is, man, he's I just not need some eucalyptus, bro. Yeah. I'm on edge. You know what? He's, he's an just, addict. He is an addict. Yeah. Have you guys Addicts seen? Mean. They're just um, addicted. You know? Back to the outback. No. Oh. Because it's funny you said koala. Because in that it's like oh they're so cute, but then you fit you you he finally talks and he and he's like. What Rick, the koala? Oh, it's a cartoon? <laughs> um, it's animated. <laughs> okay. Is that a cartoon? I don't know it. <laughs> are all cartoons all cartoons are animated, but not all animations are cartoons. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Squares. Kangaroo Jack? Oh, he's cool. He's just cool. I, just, I think kangaroos would be pretty chill, you know? I don't know who would be the rudest. Maybe like orcas. I feel like they'd be dicks. Orcas could be dicks. They're like, don't oh, they, we, we can kill anything. Don't they fuck with their prey in the water and like just yeah. tease them and torture them until they kill them? Mm-hmm. Killer whales? I read some crazy thing yeah, about yeah, how they orcas, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll fuck with like dolphins. They'll or, just throw them up in the sky. And... Yeah, it's really messed up. Or, I think <laughs> yeah. it's I think it's seals, like baby seals. Anything, oh, yeah. they will just they'll fucking off. kill sharks. Yeah, they orcas can... definitely up there. I think maybe Chihuahua. I I don't like Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are like Karens. <laughs> it's like relaxed, yeah. dude. They're like the only dog that makes me like think. No, but they're annoying. I feel like they're not rude. But like murdering. But they are rude. <laughs> Like, they'll, like, go up to a big dog and just start yipping at him. It's like, yo, this, you're gonna this, die. this big dog's chill. You don't know your size. I love big dogs that are like, what the fuck is this little thing going Chihuahuas on? are the animal equivalent of the guy who freaked out in the bagel shop, the short dude. Yeah, it's just little man syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little man syndrome. Yeah. I think they all have little man syndrome. I don't even know what that is. Well, it's like, an indirect answer, but I think, you know, we gave him <laughs> a quality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going Chihuahuas, final answer. I think they would just be it. Be a, Drag to be around. It would not be fun, you know. Be a drag. Like, I could see snakes being like kind of like. But it's almost not rude. Mousy. It's like, like they're just like snakes. I think they're just sneaky. Like they're just like, oh, what you doing over there, huh? They, I feel like a lot yeah, of eyebrow creepy. movement. It's like, oh, you get away. Yeah. I feel like they're just condescending, and that could be rude. I'm a snake. Don't like you that. just feel right <laughs> side? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's no, okay. a good question. Yeah. I'm going with Chihuahua. Final answer. That's me. This yeah, one, with, I like this question better than the doors and wheels. That was starting to hurt my head. It did hurt my head. I'm still that's, thinking of animals. That's why it's a good debate. There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of toy playhouses out there. I want to yeah. hear the the doors debate. Um, yeah, like if somebody could justify doors. If anybody can justify doors, tell me why, because I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a fucking second. Johnson, you got anxiety. I have for sure. You seem you seem like it, honestly. Well, you want to know why it's been a little better as of late? Why? I'm using this new online therapy application called Cerebral. Oh my god, I was gonna say you should try Cerebral. It's a great website, man. It's a um, it's really dope. You have a licensed therapist pretty much at your at your call at any given time. You can text no, them. You can do... Au- not pretty much. You do. Yeah. And, and uh, it's great because, you know, you don't have to go through the standard therapy, you know, scheduling conflicts. Uh, if, if you miss your session and you got to reschedule a week later, it's like you got somebody on call at all times for whatever you're going through from ADHD to depression to insomnia. I mean, anything. Dude. Talk about convenient, huh? It's, you know, it's one of the few services that provides prescription medication online through a licensed provider. And it ships medication straight to your door, so you can skip those pharmacy lines. Let's just say CVS is uh, on the cold shoulder as of late, boys. <laughs> and the cool thing about it is a third of the price of uh, normal therapy, which it's, is very yeah. You know, yeah, it's, I mean, it's light normal on the therapy pockets. sessions they can they can run five hundred bucks, two hundred, five hundred bucks per session. A million. It's like, crazy, yeah. really. <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> unless you're like a sheik or something. Um, <laughs> Pretty cool. Fun fact: Simone Biles is their uh, chief impact officer. Yes, that's she's awesome. a huge advocate for mental health, so that's pretty awesome. Go Simone, we love gold, baby. You get unlimited messaging with your care team, and you know what? With the Cerebral app, it's like having your own personal care team with you wherever you are. Cause you can text them whenever you, you want. You can text them. Text, call, Facetime, video. Unlimited you messaging. Connect wow. with your cl- counselor and therapist on your own schedule, through your laptop or the Cerebral mobile app. That's incredible. Do we have a deal for uh, our listeners today? I think we got a, a fucking yeah crazy deal for the people. We got a call to action for you guys. Uh, and guess what? It's at Cerebral.com. All you got to do is go Cerebral.com/slash/pocket, and you know what you get? Sixty-five percent. <gasps> What? Off 65? Your first month, yeah. 
that seems like you're just stealing from Cerebral at that point. That's just $30 to get started. That's 30 insane, bucks? Yeah. bro. What? Wow. So join Cerebral today on their mission to make quality mental health care accessible and affordable for all. What was that uh, code one more time? Pocket. Cerebral.com. <laughs> I was asking for the whole website. Slash. Cerebral.com slash pocket. Um, you know, get your mind right. It's the most important thing in your life, you know, having a healthy mental. So, yeah, we hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Shall we get back to it? Let's Cerebral. Do. If you were uh, one of the seven dwarves, you're the hiccup. Which one would you be, huh? Grumpy. What is it, like, d- Dorfy? Let me look them up. What are the names? I'd be Grumpy. Happy? Yeah, Bruce is Grumpy. That's like, I think that makes There's sense. There's one that's high, like super stoned. High. high. Stony. Dopey. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Dopey. Dopey. Stony. It's like, I feel like Sammy's Dopey. 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 Dopey, happy, munchy, bunchy. Johnson's the one. I'd be the one. You know the one. Like, <laughs> geeky. Like, the one who's just there. And he's like, he's kind of like cute, but like he has huge ears. No, that's dopey. Floppy. Goopy. Is that dopey? I thought it was. Yeah, it's goopy. <laughs> okay, so number one is Doc. He's the leader. <laughs> Doc? Um, yeah, you know Doc's Doc. Doc's Mo. Doc. You've seen Doc. That's Grumpy. No, that's Doc. Grump- that's I don't, Grumpy. I didn't know that's that. Grumpy. That's Grumpy. That's Bruce for sure. <laughs> Look at him. He's always cross armed, just pouting and shit. <laughs> Uh, sleepy is number four. Yeah, easy on the Ooh. digs, easy. You got happy, you got sleepy, you got sneezy. No way. You'd probably be sneezy. That sounds like a made-up one. <laughs> right? I, I was never a sneezy, was there? Sneezy. Which one got with Snow White? Bashful. You <laughs> 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 fucked her good, too. <laughs> who is Snow? I mean, no, you're, sl- you're sleepy, Johnson. You're always in yeah, bed till fucking four. You sleep four. too long. But who is... But I'm not, like, sleepy when I'm off. That's not true, necessarily. Uh, he's always just needs a nap, you know? <laughs> he's so cute. You want to spank his bottom to bed? You're like... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did they come up with the seven dwarves? I don't get it. Like, what is the point of it? Just, like... I don't know, know if it's it's fiction, it's probably. Fiction. But they all seem, like, happy, grumpy, bashful, doc, dopey, and then sneezy. <laughs> 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 They're all no. emotions, and then you have doc, too. It's yeah. like, why, is, why is doc in there? I don't think sneezy's real. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard sneezy. <laughs> sneezy's <laughs> Not real. In my whole life. No, is this a, a Mandela effect? Was Sneezy ever a dwarf? No, he no. is. He's he just was? not popping. What, is he just got the fucking was... snot? <laughs> it sounds wrong, <laughs> what is that? Though. Sneezy should not be a dwarf. Is he sneezing all the time? Is that obvious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like that kid that's just like, oh, I'm about to be like, yeah. Oh, 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 I remember him. I remember him, actually. Yeah, fucking... And like, he'll sneeze and his legs will shoot up behind oh, him. Sammy's and he'll like, be suspended in an air. He is bashful. What's bashful? With the eye- eyelashes. Sammy's bashful. You're bashful. Is that the one that got with Snow White? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'd be dopey, I think. I feel like Consensually. Yeah, well, you obviously. might be dopey, like a cross between dopey and sleepy. <laughs> dopey sleepy hybrid, if they fucked. So, <laughs> no, they can't reproduce unless it's one of them. This is one strand. Is there a secret? Okay, Wait, I don't know. Strands? Yeah. <laughs> no, no Coco Melon is a dope show, by the way. Actually? I recommend it to you guys. If you're doned and you're just like kicking it, maybe. I've been learning the uh, guitar major scales <laughs> on, by playing along the Coco Melon. Have you Melon. really? Yeah. And they're all like just perfectly major songs, all happy sounding. Oh wow! And I'll just like, okay, I'll just learn like a nice little. And I'll go up and down the scale, and yeah, I also learned like my ABCs, counting, basic counting. Uh, a lot I don't of know, stuff. like, if you know, like when I have a kid, things. I don't know if if I'm gonna put him on to Coco Melon. Would you know he become too basic? Well, it's kind of lit. It's lit. But I think my kid will learn a lot through Coco Melon. I'm like, oh, here's other kids Coco talking Coco. about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that? It's just a kid. Everybody kids, watches I've never it. Seen it. It's a kids' learning show. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. got good messages too. It's like don't give up. Like I remember, what's her name? Like Kelly was about to give up on the jump rope. She was scared to do it. Mm-hmm. All the other kids were jump roping, and then finally everyone gave her enough courage, and she ended up breaking the record. She got seven, right? She got seven. But not, you're not yeah. always gonna have someone there to give you courage, and sometimes you gotta muster it yourself. Of course, and they teach that lesson. Or sometimes you need Coco Melon to you know teach you. <laughs> All right, what, maybe I'll watch it. Is Coco Melon one of the uh, Forbes thirty under thirty? <laughs> <laughs> Coco <laughs> Melon is a dwarf. It's one, yeah, of the doors, one of the doors. Yeah. Okay. Um, Coco melon. Coco melon. It's perfect, bro. You ever seen the video of that baby running because his dad turns on the Coco melon theme song, and he's like in one of those like bouncy things where the babies can like run but they can't run yet, <laughs> and he flies in from the kitchen like and starts looking at the TV. <laughs> bro, I got comments. We made this little Coco melon sketch on my TikTok, and I was getting comments like, "Oh God, I shouldn't have played this around my child." Like he came running into the room, Literally. and I'm like, "People know that. Like, Damn. Kids are in love with Coco it's melon." It's on. Dude, yeah. Um, I when want you a kid, that'd be cool. I know, right? so sick. I can't wait. Yeah, having a baby would be dope. When you hit shuffle on your music right now, what song comes up? Let's see. All right, okay. everyone, go to all music. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. Wait, how do you do that on Spotify? On no, you have to go to your like actual library. So it's Apple Library songs. Wait, get off. What? Shuffle is liked songs in it though. 
Hey, hey, one more time. Ah, jungle, huh? A little jungle action. This is a great. I only buy good albums, and so I only have good albums. Wait, how do, you, how do you find it? Or yeah. download, you mean? Buy. What do you mean? Don't you just download them on Apple Music? You still use iTunes? No, I use Spotify only. Are you going off liked? So you download them. I went to I Apple bought Music. these. What do you mean? You, you, you didn't. You can't I, buy I them on Spotify. To, it's not even a thing. Go to, no, I bought these on. This is just my music library. Songs? These are from like years ago. Like I have like so Star Trek and Don't Trust Me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. By three, <laughs> yeah. I didn't go to Shuffle at the top. I'm trying nice to do that day, in Spotify. Daisy Dukes. Oh. Um, mine is. Okay. All right, so Jungle. Wow, it's, a, it's in Mood <laughs> featuring Are you on Spotify, Jay, or Apple Music? Shuffle. Uh, go to your Overdue by Metro Boomin know. featuring Travis go, Scott. Go to music, like type in music on your search bar. No, 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 like on your iPhones. I'm a little disappointed. What was that? It's a decent song. Overdue, Travis Scott, Metro Boomin. Click that and then it's go a good song. library. Well, I don't have anything on here. I thought I was gonna get you something iconic. Did. Like a while ago, it's on my like on my oh, iCloud okay. though. Yeah, know? see mine's on. Bro, my I'm just like click it through mine now. Yeah, let me, let like songs, it. that's what I was thinking too. Mine's all yeah. trapped. Okay, music, though. songs, shuffy. This is yours? <laughs> it's it so on par with you. Oh, that's all you. I was like, no way, that's you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Such a Bruce anthem. That's like when you're trying to calm down type music, isn't it, Bruce? Yeah, that's like before bed. <laughs> that gets you zen and shit. <laughs> what was yours? Crazy. That's like when I, I wake it. up it was like early a song and it's know. like peaceful out. I put on that. Do it again. You know? But come on, do it again. Just Get ready to attack the day. You gonna murder who? Coldplay. Coldplay. Is this yours? Sunrise. Like, how did this get on my phone? Don't lie. You're probably like in an <laughs> emotional. I don't like this song. How'd this get on? This here? is crazy. I would never. Oh my god, this is my second one. I don't know. I have a great library. If you're just trying to catch a biz, oh, I got it. I want to go sit on the beach, but like not in California. Like whew, somewhere beautiful. What's the best Girl Scout cookie? Thin mint. Uh, is that obvious? Is that obvious? You it's, said for me it is. Okay. But I also like the nutter butter one. I was gonna say that nutter butter one. Oh, there's no those aren't those just nutter butters? <laughs> no, no. There's like one. No, there's a pinita, pinita, pin, peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> what are they called, bro? I've had. It. I know what you're what? talking about. The, in the red box. Right? Oh, tagalongs, tagalongs are fucking tagalongs nuts. Are great. In the yeah. red box, right? <clears throat> I it's either so. tagalongs or thin mints. Yeah. Bro, I noticed they call uh, girls cut cookies different things in different regions, which is so weird. What does that mean? Meaning what? Um, the car- we call them caramel delights in the purple box in, yeah. the, in Nebraska. They're called what are they called? The the purple Samoa. one, Samo- oh, yeah, Samoas. Samoas. Well, maybe they always have been, but we just gave them that. No, no, no. Like on our box, it says caramel delights. Oh, and I'm like, why is there regional differences? Why like, is it once a year? Wow, that's the first thing that came up. The map of Girl Scout cookie differences based on location. <laughs> yeah, bro. What is that all about? Maybe it's up to the girls in the region. Maybe. I want Samoa. Oh, they're actually different, though. Like, act- the cookie's actually different. Like, Samoa's and Caramel Delight. The like, little what? girls make them. Wow, they are so Even the different. Thin Mints are different. Dude, That's interesting. Girl Scout cookies? Like, Girl Scouts are so on for that. No, so on? Boy Scouts yeah. didn't get Oh, Tagalongs are lit. Boy Scouts do Do's are the ones we're thinking of, though. That's pure yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, show me the tagalongs. Tagalongs have the chocolate outside. Yeah. The the dosi doughs are like more the nutter butter. Dosi doughs. Hey, people are sleeping on shortbreads though. They got a nice oh, little butter. I yeah. like the tagalongs. I was looking are those them up. The animals with the chocolate on them. Oh no, tagalongs are fire. There are no animals. Wait, are there? There are animals. But I think in, I think indisputably it, it comes down to thin mints though. You yeah, know, it's definitely me. probably like the and most. What are the other ones? Bot. Like that's what I want to know. Tagalong, well, there's like the, the lemon cookies, lemonades, and shit. yeah, like, trefoil shortbread, girl shortbread scout, smash, are good. girl scout s'mores. <clears throat> thanks a lot. Wait, there's one that's like thanks a lot. It's kind of passive. Chip shortbread. You know? It's like a, it's like a shortbread, a but it has yeah. chocolate on it. What's that one? Yeah, what is that one? That's oh. thanks a lot. That's those bad. are thanks fucking a thanks those a lot. Are fucking those might be my favorite. Bro, yeah. Savannah smiles. But we didn't call them thanks a lot. No, we didn't call them thanks a lot. We call them something else. Yeah. Yeah, they literally said shortbread dipped in fudge. Yeah, they're so good. Lemon Whoa. chalet creams, Juliet's. I don't like mm-hmm. lemon. I don't like lemon flavor. Lemon anything, anything except anything, for lemonade, really. really. Yeah. yeah, I don't like lemon or grape shit. Like, lemon water is good. I like real grapes, but like grape. Grape flavor. Yeah, grape just... soda. I like grape soda to an extent. I don't mind grape flavored things, but lemon flavored things are wonky. Like lemon, like lemon flavored. I really like lemon. Lemon chicken, lemon pepper. Yeah. There are so many that I've never even heard of. Yeah, Girl Scouts are so dope for the Girl Scout cookies. They're on. They're like, just on. What are the Boy Scouts? Why isn't there like, why don't they sell like, you know, fucking dope juices or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, shouldn't they have like, like Boy Scout meat or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, trust yeah. me, the counselors get plenty of that. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, bro. The counselors are Eagle Scouts, and the Eagle Scouts are always like d- super like trustworthy guys. Yeah. They're, yeah, like kind of right? younger 20s well, guys. What, I guess that's what they want to think. That's what think. they want to think. Oh, fuck. We might have been suppressing yeah. some Cub Scout memories, too. I don't know. I'm safe. He's an Eagle Scout, Mom. We call thanks a lot. <laughs> we call them shout outs. Did we call them shout outs? Shout outs, not. I don't no. know. What about. Bad, yeah, bad branding from the Guy Scouts. Yeah, come on, guys, guys. Bro, frozen Thin Mints are different. Oof. Yeah, I'll put I'll put that thing in my bum. You know what I'm <laughs> Bro, I had uh, frozen grapes recently for the first time yeah. in like probably ten years, and I forgot how good those are. They're great. They're like popsicles. Yeah. yeah. Just, what was that? I think the best. Yeah, yeah. I asked you today, and they were purple, which I think are better frozen than they are not, and they're better than the green frozen ones. Yeah, frozen grapes turn into like little. Icicles, icicles. Yeah. Like little like, like chewy ice. There's it's like good. a layer, a thin ice layer, on yeah. the outside because yeah. there's that condensation on the grape. We should make so a good. a cocktail where we peel the grapes frozen, Ooh. and then use the the Bro. innards as ice cubes. Lychee martinis. Don't act like you know what's going on. No, I like. But I feel like martinis. it'd be so hard to like. Yeah, they'd, they'd probably, probably get melt soft by and then. wonky. Yeah, like. Yeah. yeah. Get all sog. Then you get a uh, a French press. <laughs> the juice and you juice it out yeah whoa now it's the cocktail <clears throat> you should just leave the skin on at that point you're right probably right mm-hmm. bro oh my but the best frozen what, what are, are you, you doing reading? The, the best frozen fruit is mango um what are you gonna say mangoes are good but they're so like not flavorful in terms of fruit <sighs> Like, frozen ones seem like a little, like... Bro, it tastes like ice cream. It tastes like pure ice cream. I feel like they just taste muted, don't they? Like, yeah, yeah, they're slightly muted. Like, they taste so more much. flavorful not frozen, in my opinion. You haven't had a frozen one. Mango? You have not <laughs> had a frozen one. <laughs> yeah, of course I have. Oh, yeah. Frozen mangoes are so good. That's all you have in your freezer. Yeah, that's all we have. <laughs> um, I can't stop. I thought this would be funny. It's probably not. Not, probably, yeah, Swing probably it. not. I, uh... <laughs> fuck all of you. <laughs> what did um, you do? I found, I found a fan fiction that involves us three from, like, 2015 type vibes. Oh, oh my God. God. And I want to read it out loud. Okay. Is it, they're all sexual? I don't know. It's a fan fiction, but it's called Forbidden Love. <laughs> yeah, it's sexual. It's got a hun- this has 100,000 reads on Wattpad. 100 what? 100,000 reads on Wattpad. Forbidden Love. What counts as a read? Just somebody goes to it and reads it, I guess. It's just like a view, I guess. Yeah, a view on the page. Whoa. But okay, okay, I just want to... Okay, this is Forbidden Love. It's a fanfic by uh, Oreos for Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's like an Alfredo Flores uh, fan account? Who knows? Chapter one is from my point of view. Chapter yeah. one? How long is this? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, wait. What no, I, just wanna, read? I just want to read the first chapter. I've, ne- I've never read The first this. chapter? Like, how Maybe. many pages? I don't know. It's like fucking two paragraphs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yo, Jack, you coming to the party tonight? Sam asks, leaning against the locker next to mine. It's from my point of view, all right? <laughs> it's from it's your, from point, your point, of point of view. It's from my point of view, chapter okay. one. okay. I shrug my shoulders. Maybe. I don't know, though. Have to ask Jack. <laughs> Are you like my dad? Yeah. <laughs> I said, stuffing my books in my locker. Sam nodded, walking along with me to the parking lot. Mary and her gang passed us, winking at me. Mary totally likes you. You should ask her out. She's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I nodded. Maybe today at the party. Wow, this shit's getting juicy, bro. I like it. So you coming? Sam asked me, running a hand through his brown hair. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> so you coming? <laughs> Yeah, why not? I said. Jack would come anyways. Why are we like so attached at the hip? <laughs> well, we have to be at this point. This is true. This is our last year of high school, so we decided to make the best out of it. Sam spotted Jack and ran towards him. I swear Sam is full of energy today. <laughs> Jack. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Jack, coming to the party tonight? Jack's eyes traveled to me. I nodded, confirming him that I would go too. Yeah, when's the party? He asked. It starts at 8, but be there at 9. You're like, you have all the inside info. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? He's a social king. Then Sam walked off, leaving us alone. Jack and I started to walk to his car. I think he, you're about to start kissing. Forbidden love? Oh, God. <laughs> I, don't, I want to stop this. Wait, right hold now. on, hold on. <laughs> what because, 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 I didn't put one because together. you keep looking at me and I keep looking at you. Bro, yeah. are we going to end up fucking in this thing? I think that's what they want. Okay, let's go Bro, a little further. Bro, it's fan fiction. I, I think like we're that's good. what they all, are hold all up, about. Hold up, I just want to finish chapter one. Wait, but you'd think it would be <laughs> different kind of fiction. Then Sam walked off, leaving us alone. Alone. Jack and I started to walk to his car. He usually picks me up to go to school and drives me back home. Our friendship is something many people want to have. Uh, I'm good on this. I don't want it. This is going to taint every <laughs> time I look at you. We barely get into any fights. If we do, it's just for an hour or so. It's pretty yeah, kiss and make up. So, got any plans for tomorrow, Jack asked? Tomorrow's the last day of school, and honestly, I couldn't wait. 
Jack and I are going to college. We would go to MagCon events, too, of course, to meet our fans. <laughs> I was glad that we had such dedicated fans who would never leave us, no matter what. Like, I'm give a little shit fan shout out. I'll probably just hang out at home. Oh, God, this is getting weird. No, no, but... <laughs> oh, I'll hang out with him with you. I'll come with you. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one... Um, Maybe it's a love triangle. Hold up, I need to go to like chapter five. <laughs> no, bro, you're gonna like <laughs> no. lose. Your, you're never gonna be able they, to unsee this. They lock eyes. I mean, it's a fanfic. Jack grabs Jack's hips. They're tongue punching then each other. Then his cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cock and hand. Jack sits on Jack's thumb. <laughs> <laughs> From then, his thumb disappears intentionally. <laughs> I just went to chapter eight. Just read how the recap starts. I don't. No. Don't read that. Don't read Jesus that. Jesus Christ. Let me you guys read are sickos. Hey, don't look up for Ben Love, all right? The Jack and Jack fanfic. <laughs> Do you guys know that? I don't know I what it's like called. I feel you're proud of this. You kind of like yeah. it. No, I just, you definitely what, read this whole thing. That's what you were reading this morning. No, when you, no, no. I couldn't get you to Because I, I was reading in my notes. I was like, best. Uh, I had Girl Scout cookies in there. Uh-huh. And I had uh, read fanfics. But I didn't put the For Ben Love thing together before it was too you late. You know, there's like this one huge like series. I should like, have expected Movie it. series that's all based on like a fanfic that someone wrote about <laughs> Harry Styles. Get that grin off your face. Yeah. What is it, uh, <laughs> what is it called? Uh, they turned it fucking, it's like a huge movie Bro, series. it's huge. It's like Harry should be rich off this. Wait, what? Wait, what is it? Some Sorry. fan wrote Bruce, a fanfic about Harry Styles <laughs> like a 10 too years ago. Bro. And then they made some like producer read it or something I don't know the story right like some girl wrote the whole movie like this whole thing and people like and loved it, it so much movie? had millions of views and then it became a, a movie and like it's like it's like a massive thing this kid's a heartthrob off this movie he plays Harry Styles but it's like it's called after not it's after damn that's and horrible. it's not actually like it's not Harry Styles like he doesn't it's not exactly what his life and is and it wouldn't be as good as that one if we made that one <laughs> <laughs> But Bro. this kid is Bro, like... you guys should make that. <clears throat> who he, played Tom Riddle yeah. as a kid? <laughs> that little kid. That's who plays this oh, guy. Oh, really? Tom um, Riddle. Baby Riddle? Yeah, Baby baby Voldemort. Wait, who's Tom R- Oh, my God. Fan fictions are wild, though, bro. I used to, like, read some of them, and it would just be like... But what are you doing at home writing that? It's just people diving into their darkest fantasies and anonymously kind of publishing them online. I don't know. Like, they're big within the community of fans, No, too. I know. No. I've heard all about them, but, like, I like, just don't understand. Like, it's like Glinsky pairs over at me with his piercing eyes and his sharp jaw. <laughs> hey, baby. All the girls are just, like, getting wet reading it, I guess. I don't know. It's fucking hilarious. It's just, but, it's yeah. Like, um, romance novels with their favorite. That's really crazy. Submit, a, submit us some fanfics that we can read that aren't too dark, all right? Because I think it would be funny. It would be a funny bit if, like, they're I feel actually... like 99% of them, though, are you guys hooking up. We just w- turn <laughs> gay. We just turn gay. <laughs> I wish we could read a script. That'd be so fun. Bro, do you we should do a table read. We Fans. should easily bring that in. We should do it tomorrow. Yeah, we should. We should. We should find a good little bit. Table read. Like, March something 31st. funny. I want to play, like, a big guy or something. Yeah. Get off my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll suck you. Yeah, people are fucking... <laughs> That'd be good. Hands up, kid. Drawers down. <laughs> <laughs> we should write our own. Yeah, let's do it. Our own fanfic? I don't know if or you're not, that not, good. Not a fanfic, right, but let's just write our, yeah, own, write our own table, own read. table read. Yeah. Yeah. It could be fucking great, right? Gary said to Chuck, look out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just starting to read it, you know? In my mind. Yeah, Chuck, bro. Chuck didn't see it coming. The ball hit him with extreme force. Ow. Gary says. Yeah, Gary, <laughs> Gary didn't. <laughs> you guys are good writers. This is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. It was movie. a big pencil. It pierced through his lung. <laughs> let's, let's bring. Let's bring a. Forget about me. Let's bring a good script in for tomorrow. Yeah. Can I? Like can, I c- can I pick a few? Yeah. Pick, pick whatever you please. want. Please. You're a picker, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And we're gonna come know. in blind. You gotta get. You gotta have a role for us, and you assign us the roles. Okay. And we come okay. In blind, okay, right? yeah. okay. Okay. And then we'll it then we'll do like emotion. a role reversal. Ooh. That's always like a good acting uh, challenge. Tool. Like, Holy yeah, they'll like shit. have you like play. The, you're playing the guy. Obviously, all right. Now you're playing the girl, and she's gonna play the guy, which is great. I'm ready after it's all. Great all acting. After all your self reads that I've helped you with, like I'm ready, bro. No, mm. right, you're ready. Those shits are fun. You've, you've acted more shit than me with your music videos, all sorts of shit. Bro, remember that we had a we had a. Cut scene with like we were filming uh, this week in, uh, this music video for all weekend long with Timbaland. You were at that shoot, weren't I'm you? No, 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 Where's no, that no, from? No. the pool. Uh, we cut it out because like we didn't want to add the skit in because like it didn't really make much sense. I guess it doesn't really have to. But uh, we, the footage is still with probably ne- uh, Nev. Is it the director? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was funny because we filmed this whole <coughs> skit where we were sitting down at the poker table. Oh yeah, it was Ryland, right? It was me. Well, there it is. G- full circle. It was Ryland. me, G, Ryland, and Timbaland, you know, super producer. Well, and uh, <laughs> we're fucking all in like dope bathrobes, playing cards, and 
what was the whole punchline? Like someone you had, had like an he, Aesop's? Yeah, like Timbo and Timbo caught you like hiding uh, Jacks up your sleeve or something, and he ended up getting pissed at you. And then like it cut back into the song or some shit. And like we saw it in the music video, and we're like, oh, it didn't really fit. But like I, I want to get that footage. Where's that's that rough hilarious. cut? It's got to be in our emails. That shit was funny as fuck. Yeah, fucking legendary. Remember that? That sound? music video is so tough. Yeah, it is. Fun. Fun, I love that a- shot. You have the visor on. Yeah, I do have a visor. It's so tough. I don't know why on you, but I loved it. Thank you. Yeah. It's, I had a visor. Visor. it's rare that the visor can be pulled off, you know? But I know. You looked a big frat kid in that, and I was like, this is... Modern day erotic. That's what they were saying after that video. Uh, <laughs> modic. They just called you modic. <laughs> <laughs> I actually probably, like, if I really, you know, like, tennis could have been something for me. We had a, we, we tried. <laughs> we tried pretty we tried. hard, that's for sure. I know, I know. I know. Did you guys agent. not even do like a game or something or a match or whatever? Oh, no, we, we played match. Jeez. We did lots of matches. You too? Yeah, I played. We were too. all in JV, we're all in JV, JV school, yeah. Like on purpose. I thought ten- so we- when is tennis season? It was my first. It was my is only it spring. It was my only time I could do first season of the year. Something. Oh, so it's it's football it's fall. Season. It's fall. It was football, football season. season yeah. yeah, that's why I couldn't do it. Did you see that tennis player uh, <laughs> play call out Ben Stiller? No. Wait, wait. Who did what? Wait, who with who? Um, Kyrgios. Oh yeah, I saw that. No, he didn't call out Ben Stiller. Well, Wait, what right. is it? Exactly, so why are you speaking? Wow. What did he say? He said, do you play tennis? Exactly. So oh, is he, is he, said, he joking, though? I think no, somebody else said... No, 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 somebody else said something about tennis, and, and then he said... And then he looked at Ben Stiller, and he's like, would you teach him how to act? Oh, he was confirming yeah. with... Oh, my God, I thought they were beefing. I'm like, why is Ben Stiller no, 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 beefing no. with Kyrgios? Ke- somebody Keogh. else said it. And then he was just saying... Would you, you know? Would you tell him how to act? He's no. Not. Oh, would you tell him how to yeah, act? Yeah, would you oh, tell him how okay, to act? Bet. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It was someone else. <laughs> that shit's great, ben though. Ben Stiller, man. He kind of spazzed, though. Spazzed. Ben Stiller's just chilling at tennis tournaments, completing side quests Dude, and shit. tennis is fucking <laughs> sick. Yeah. Those, those, tennis is so those, sick. So fun to watch. What are they called? The majors? <sighs> You get mm-hmm. stoned and sit mm-hmm. in front of the TV, mm-hmm. watch that. It is amazing. Yeah, it's the amazing. rallies it's are so fucking. Fun to watch. I'll never understand how they hit the between the leg shots between over the net and like win points. I'm like, how as the ball w- the ball's traveling the opposite direction and they somehow, it's crazy. They'll hit a winner on the opposite side of the court, not even looking. And I like, swear, there's no reason to that do that. That might be cooler it's than dunking. All sauce. It yeah, might it's be all cooler sauce. than dunking. It's just up there. It's really saucy, bro. And it's yeah. like a one handed catch. Federer, Nadal, Djokovic. Yeah, Djokovic. Yeah. Djokovic, the Joker. Those three guys. Who's got the best grunt in all of tennis? Probably Serena. Serena. Yeah. I don't know. Maria Sharapova's is crazy. Oh, hers yeah. is no, crazy. Hers is not great. It is so. Oh. Annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really yeah. intense. It's so annoying. But I guess it's kind of one of the most iconic because of how intense it is. But it's agree? crazy that energy release, like as you're whipping that ball, it's like phew, serious. Oh, it's just breathing, helps. right? It's just their breath. It's yeah, just breath, like doing like breath. a fucking noise and fighting. Probably it's just yeah. what comes naturally, and so they're like, all right. I'm just gonna keep grunting my whole life. Yeah, <laughs> it is yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, some of it's so like, and it's like, and they start like the other guy does it when they hit it back, and it's like in rhythm, and it's just yeah. back and forth oh, yeah. notes. Ooh, like a sample ah, of that. Like, yeah. Ooh, ah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, awesome. I love it. And it's like we should were... go to one of those, a live one. I would love to. Yeah, we now that like COVID's fucking ending. Thank Did you guys God. watch King Richard? Um, no, and I want the William no. Sisters doc. No, it I wasn't a it. doc. It was like a you know uh, biopic. Biopic. Fanfic. That's the Will a Smith John? Yeah, bro. Right, I heard he got nominated for a little he Oski Woski. I yeah. loved he did. it. I loved it. And he was a hard ass, but like I've never bro, seen it. We should watch a, that next. Yeah, should such a good that. dad, bro. Like the way he put his neck out for his daughters is crazy. Especially when nobody wanted to teach, like, you know, two young black girls with like no formal training. Will had taught him up or King Richard, Richard Williams, had taught him up until that point. And like finally he found this coach who was like, you know, he would he coached Olympians. John and he was just pressing like just let her hit a couple Yeah, John Bernthal. He's like, just let her hit a couple fucking shots with you. Come on, just a couple shots. And like he interrupted his whole session. This dude was training an Olympian. No way. And and the, the Olympians like, it's fine, just let her hit a couple of shots. And then Don't spoil it, I'm gonna watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but it's just dope how he like just fucking willed his daughters into the league. He willed them. He, That's he, literally Tiger crazy. Woods' dad. That's fucking yeah. the ball brothers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's like Dude. It's a fine line. Like some of them are great, but then there's those dads that just like go too far. When does it become abusive? When does it become you know? Yeah, you. I think you know. Like in terms of like how bad your kid wants it, you know. Like of course, of course. Like have you seen the dad who like uh, he's on TikTok. He like is doing uh, yeah yeah cheerleading. Yeah, cheerleading Gymnastics, with his daughter. Yeah, or whatever. And Tumble, tumbling. Yeah. There's a lot of just fucking sensitive ass people in the comments. Like 
She seems scared. She seems terrified to do these tricks. Like, you should take it easy on her if she, like, doesn't seem but comfortable. she's going to win so many gold medals. And everybody's like, no, this guy is a great parent. He's like, you can do this. He's mo-. And it's like, bro, like, there's a difference between, you know, being uh, emotionally abusive and, like, really just believing your child and, like, helping them achieve something they don't mm-hmm. think that they can achieve because they're so young, you know? it's Right. It's like getting them past the hump that they couldn't normally get no, themselves past. No, it is like past. sometimes uncomfortable watching that guy though, because he's like, yeah. he's fucking. Like she'll start crying. It's like, ah, why are you crying? <laughs> Just land the flip. Like I'm like, whoa. It's like you got this, baby. You got this. But then yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, he's like, he's, no, he's good. And then she'll get it, and like you know, they'll and hug it out. So happy, and she's yeah. so happy at the end. And I'm like, that's like good ass parenting. Like people have mistaken. Have mistaken good parenting for you can't like, coddle your kids, right? Yeah, you can't just fucking be there and baby talk them the whole way through life and not push them. It's like no one's doing that to them in the real world, and that's the problem. Like when I talk to my kid, I'm like, "Yo, what's up, bro? How you doing? Hey, it's not your dog. You trying to get a? <laughs> I'm not like, <laughs> hey, bro, hey, little Billy. Like, no, yeah, bro. when he's six months old, that's fine. Yeah, when he's six months old, but like if you're still doing that to a three year old, it's like they're gonna grow up talking like a fucking yeah pheasant. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, probably mostly like a pheasant. Yeah, probably like yeah, awfully pheasant like. Yeah. Do you guys watch The Last Samurai last night? Yeah, we have an hour left. Fucking great movie. I have like five movies after. I have like 45 minutes left. That's <laughs> off. I want to be I mean, in that movie. It's, cool. it's just too late. I would love to just like be able to be in different time periods for like an hour and just like we'll be able to walk through That's it. Why just catch sick, it. sick, bro. Like, sh- yeah, literally. It's literally time travel. And you it can is. live, like you are that person. <laughs> Especially if you take it serious and you really try to like embody the role. Like, that shit is fucking it. What's like your dream acting role, would you say, Bruce? Stuff like that. Like, <clears throat> Peaky Blinders, Last Samurai, they're called period pieces. Period pieces, okay. Like, shit like that. Like, where you can, st- where you'll like do research on the period, the historical period, actually try to learn and just, walk and talk and move like them and wear the clothes they wear and try to just live in that era. Yeah, that's. Just literally cool. insert yourself. Be so yeah. sick. Into that time period. Any, any period, though, like. Confederate War or like a Great Gatsby or any anything. A Western would be such a yeah, dream. Yeah, it'd be such a... Is there, is there one role that like that's already happened that if you could choose one role, you'd choose? Yeah, what role that exists would you be like, damn, I would have <clears throat> loved that role. Is there like a... Is there like one where you're like... I don't think I've ever had that question before. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is Ask the Bruce right Titanic, now. Titanic. Django. Mission Impossible 6. What role Big would Hero I love six? to do? Mm-hmm. A lot of them. Coco Melon? I would love to do like a Beyond the Pines type thing. Oh. Like Ryan Gosling little role. Luke, Luke and the Heartbreakers? I get to like be like a bank robber. That'd be fucking cool. Kind of on Bandit sick. Vibes. Yeah, that'd oh, yeah. be cool. Or even that um, Hell or High Water. That'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You would, oh, you would work one. in that. Holy shit. With yeah, the, you like, would. Half grown scruff. He would be good in that. <laughs> It's with um, that anything where you know, like, fuck, like you get to show some emotion. Mm-hmm. I like dramas. I want to see you I like, like feeling stuff. I want to see you like yelling slash screaming slash like emotional teary eyed, like almost dro- like spitting. I want to see you like mad like that. Yelling throws me for some reason in acting. I feel like there's moments when I see people yell and like I'm like you don't need to yell there. Like there's just no, like you can have the like when you see someone who's like should yell. And they hold it inside, and then they, like, talk normal, and you can see that. That's fucking cool. Like, like when they're being like, reluctant to yell. Yeah, like, like, actually, like, seeing the human inside of them, like, work to keep the anger back, as yeah. opposed to just unleashing all hell. I think that's insane. It's bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. it's dope. I think you would body be on puns. Something like that. Like, even the role the kid plays that's supposed to be Ryan Gosling's son. Like, that'd be a fun role. Ah. Where he's, like, a little druggy kid, kind mm-hmm. of. But he's lost. He's not even a druggy kid, but like. And it's like, what can Gosling really say? He's a fuck of himself, so it's like, you know. It's... Well, he's dead. And Beyond the Pines? Yeah. By the time. Spoiler. Oh, Dane you're... DeHaan, like the kid who plays that role, by the time he's like older, like, you know, like around our age or whatever, like, Gosling's already dead. Oh, is it? So is it like kind of flat? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's like, so like backs. Bradley Cooper is the cop, right? And like, no, he's, the, seen that movie. he's the cop that's. Yeah, he's like chasing Ryan Gosling in the beginning, and Ryan Gosling really? falls out of a building and the dies. Like a whole first story. Ah, uh, I remember like now. Show, like a full movie, mm-hmm. and then they meet, mm-hmm. and then it's like the other half is the other person that meets story. And but, doesn't he have the son with the lady that he's talking to at the diner? And she, yeah, his yeah. real didn't they actually have kids together? Eva Longoria is that? Who yeah, I think they're together. <clears throat> She's fucking fantastic. It's probably so hard not to fall in love on a movie set where you're really romantically involved with the person. Fuck, yeah. It's just discipline and, like, how much you actually love the other person you're with. Like, if you... Or if you're not with someone, yeah, that's No, for sure. Different, yeah. Like, have there been movies where, like, oh, they, bro, they, fell in love off set, they fell in love on set and then, like, they end up divorcing their partner and getting with the partner. Like, that's yeah, hap- that that's was, happened Yeah, that, that was Chris Pratt and 
I don't know if he got with her, but like he hooked up with Jennifer Lawrence and they were doing that one movie. And oh then my he God. got a divorce from Passengers. Uh, Passengers. I yeah, know. and then he got a divorce from Anna Ferris. But you know about movies now, right? That yes. there's a compliance officer? Do you know about this? No. Any romantic scene, there's someone that has to be there that like talks to them after. So there's no uncomfortable, like after a kiss scene, mm. hug scene. Really? Wow. There's someone there that's like, are you okay? Do you feel violated? That's good. That's good. It's a little 2022-ish, but it's good, I guess. Definitely. <laughs> You know. But so, the, like, the, the <laughs> most. <laughs> I don't know. If it's I mean, yeah, yeah, like Tom Holland and Zendaya just did it. Right, but I, I just found this out that there's someone there. Yeah, I mean, dude. It's yeah, like, I it's feel like a like, therapist, Bob. Yeah. I've done yeah. love scenes, and I feel like you. D- like I've done a scene with a girl that I was never interested in. Afterwards, I was like. I think I have a crush on you now. Like, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. D- like you for sure. That? No, no. Like no. acting like you're in love could like literally make you fall in love with somebody. You have to stare into their and eyes like, you see, like, over and over like, and over. Like, over scene shit and all the bad shit that's come out. Like no one wants to risk that anymore. Like yeah, fuck no. shooting your shot and it's just like no, no, the yeah. Vibe, you know? or, I don't know. Like, but I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm sure it happens naturally on set a lot. Just from like you have to. Well, because you're being vulnerable. You have to find that like, chemistry too. You're forcing. Yeah. That's the role. So yeah. it's like you literally have to act like you're in love with each other. And I'm like, I'm sure a lot of people just actually fall in love. You know. Yeah, for sure. I think, but I think the ones that like the ones that don't are just they're professional. More disciplined. They're professional. Like, they can separate work from life. Like, they don't, they don't get them combined or mix yeah. them up. Yeah. But um, a lot of people do, like, fuck. A lot of people create, like, I, I know so many stories of actors that fuck up their personal life just so they're f- more vulnerable and, like, emotional when it's time to film. It's, like, so that's crazy. so fucking Self, unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, fuck, yeah. That's but people up. do whatever they gotta do, I guess. Um, You're in the club and you're losing your energy. What's your revival song? Sometimes I'm just out. Just There's no bringing me Is back. Is there one song that can bring you back, though? Probably like drop top in the rain. I think Jesus Walks by <laughs> Kanye West. Oh, boop, 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 Like, when that shit comes on, I'm like, Ooh, oh, fuck. <laughs> that, would be, that would be crazy. Mine, I would probably say, because uh, every time we touch, I <laughs> get to oh, fit. Bro, you are <clears throat> up. doesn't matter if you're just, like, so There's a down, few of those, up. like, EDC, like, bangers. Mm-hmm. Like, all the ones we know. When those come on, I'm like, yeah. Let's get down, let's get down to business. That's a new one. Um, what's the one Afrojack played? Ocean in, Drive, wow. What's the one? Oh, what is that? It, uh, what is that song? Uh, I'm just a runaway. Uh, oh my God, when that comes on, you're like, whoa, let's go out, baby. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's one I'm missing. Fuck, like, it must probably like a Kygo banger. <laughs> Kygo has I mean, There's a lot of like Kygo songs. Hmm. I just want to let you in the middle. <laughs> oh, wow. Middle by um, <laughs> Mary Marie Morris. Dude, yeah, I, yeah. Like, that type of music makes one. me actually want to start drinking. Yeah. So, Even, like, like, just you just did that. And I was like, like fuck, fuck, bro, let's catch a vibe. Yeah. Let's yeah. go out. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Really I got to go. Yeah. Every time we touch is mine. Is that Estelle? No, not Estelle. Uh, who's that? I don't know. I don't know the name. No one knows. But it's so good. The Yaya's or something. <laughs> Remember when we would be in, like, Caroline Luther's car and we'd all just pause until the drop? It was like me and we go to every time and then we wouldn't stop and like Carolyn Luther's car I can't even remember. No, but it was like car. any girl's car like we would CRB? get in, we would be like we would CRB play maybe? it and we'd be like, all right, we're not gonna tell them, all right? We're just all gonna be silent, and not say a single fucking word. Put this song Why on. I don't when I they, remember this. We'll put the song on when they get in the car or like we were like picking up some girls in high school. Of course Ooh. we were. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, these guys, Whoa. you know what can we say? What can we say? And uh, I don't remember that, but that's funny. we were like, all right, we, we're not gonna say a fucking word. We're gonna put on the song right when they get in, and we're not gonna say a word until the drop. And we're not even gonna say a word during the drop. We're just gonna headbang and just like seems until like, the song seems over. high schoolish. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like we a thought it was like super something. goofy. We're like, oh my god, they're gonna fucking want to suck us after this. <laughs> we're, just, we're so silly. Dude. <laughs> so, no, did they? That's hilarious. <laughs> did they? Johnson struck oh, out. I think. Did they? Um, Johnson struck out. Sammy, what are you doing for spring break? <laughs> what is this well, question? What is that question? Why did you say it like that? It said, "What are y'all doing for spring break?" I just want to ask. Why are you laughing me. like that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That was weird. I feel like there's like a second. Yeah, I feel like you don't have spring break when you're done with school. No, that's why I thought it was a stupid question. Uh, like, I'm going to answer this. There's not even a real spring break anymore. <laughs> it's like I actually was thinking, I was like, I wonder what I'm doing for spring break. Same as you on a PCB. <laughs> we <laughs> like, should. That'd be fun. Going to be tackling dudes on the beach. What's a PCB? I don't, what's that drill they do on the Panama beach? City where beach? the dudes turn around and they just tackle each other? Yeah, it's not for me. It's just like, okay, a big crowd of people. Like, I don't know. Like, you guys can do it if you want. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's fun. Maybe it'd be fun. It'd like, probably be fun. But I would I'm, love to watch. I have yeah. to find like I'd a, be hyping them up. I'd have, to, I'd have to find like an adversary. You know, like my side. You wouldn't do that. Like, well. I don't even know what like my, my side, side is. is. 
It's just like drunk fullbacks. Like they're just on spring break. But what month? Fullbacks. <laughs> <laughs> All I can think of is like Kendrick Lamar dropping his album. I'm not sure. Twenty twelve, maybe Riley Harburg just getting stoned. spring break. Fuck, and we didn't go life, anywhere. For spring break. And we just got stoned and just drove around Omaha all spring break. The best time, I like, maybe one of the best weeks. Remember of my life. the weed photo? On yeah, of course. R slash trees on Reddit. Oh my god, we went viral on Reddit before anything. Before anything, that was before in we even made vines or anything. Was that on R slash trees? Yeah, that was in Christ the King. That photo? Yeah, bro. So I it was mean, like it was purple weed, right? <laughs> it was pure happiness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Reddit uh, on here. I'm sure you've heard of it, but they have subreddits, and there was the stoner subreddit, which was R slash trees. And we would always like be on there because you know we just thought weed was super cool back in high school, and it's still pretty cool, I guess. But we, yeah, uh, weed's tight. We just we're like, yo, we bought, we bought our first quarter ounce, or was it a half? Yeah, quarter. I, I think, think it was a quarter, right? We that didn't have that much. So money. Yeah, yeah, it was like the first like hundred bucks, like first like three figure, you know. Uh, Everyone stash. put in like twenty dollars. There was five of us. Yeah, yeah, and so we bought this quarter ounce, and then we took a photo of G holding all the weed. They took it out of the bag and put it in his hands, and we're like probably sixteen at the time. And it made a perfect heart in his hands, and he was smiling, you know. Young G, you know, he's a stone cold fox. And we, po- <laughs> we posted it on r slash trees, just like, we'll see what happens. We get back on the next day, and it was, like, the top-rated one, like, 20,000 likes. It was, like, someone, uh, was it Riley who, like, captioned it? He said, pure happiness. Pure happiness, Because like, you could yeah. really see in my eyes. And he I was, was like, just smiling, and it was our so first hard. quarter. Just bought our first quarter, pure happiness or something. Yeah. And, like, there was, like, fucking girls simping in the comments. And, like, there was dudes who were like, oh, my God. Congrats. See this. Congrats, bro. And yeah. <laughs> it's like our first quarter round. It's like, and everyone could see that we were just, like, these young 14, 15-year-olds. Like, wow. These guys Lit about it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I miss that. I wonder if any not- fans, like, found that on, like... I wish I could see that photo. I would love to find it. I don't know if it exists anymore. Someone found it. But it was great to like, bro, yeah, smoking in high school was a whole different ball game. It's like, wow. This is, we would only do it like once a week, maybe, maybe yeah, twice. Yeah, you, you had to work for it. You had to work for it. You had to find the location. You had to like drive somewhere. You had to find, you know. You had if, to have three hours open afterwards. Of course, you couldn't, yeah, you couldn't go home and, you know. I would eat grass before I went home just to make sure my breath didn't like smell like weed. Bro, and yeah. It was so grass. scary walking into your house. Like I would like take grass and like, uh, just rub it on my tongue. <laughs> it probably just smells more like. Yeah, that yeah. was always weird. That was that. weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get. Like, what do you guess like, like grass? <laughs> <laughs> we should have just bought Listerine and like had it in our two, car. Two and gum. <laughs> I don't know what I was. But I remember like wiping like the hands were like fuck. Do we smell like? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like yo, just go to a gas station and wash your hands. <laughs> you can't smell yourself. At no. Uh. Uh-uh. No chance. Our whole body is reeking. We forgot we hot boxed all of our clothes. Are just fucked. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I think we're good. Just so nice. You guys good. don't smell it, dude. Yeah, I like, don't, no, smell, I don't smell anything. <laughs> hey, I gotta say, though, I was the MacGyver of fucking Pipes. smoking devices. Yeah. Remember the one we made? You had a gas mask for some reason. I did. did you were like fucking. <laughs> Wait, why'd I have it? Did you have like Crohn's <laughs> disease for a little bit or something? <laughs> no chance. Oh my God. <laughs> That's actually crazy. I did have like trouble breathing, like at some point, maybe in middle school. And I got like this thing where it was like. A defibrillator. Hooked up in. Not a defibrillator, but like. <laughs> What's that? That's like clear. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, it's like I don't know. Fibulizer. Like, nebulizer. I think it was a nebulizer. I had one of those hooked up. It was like a dinosaur mask. And yeah. Like, we made it the craziest gas mask. Oh yeah, we like cut it off and like put the pipe coming from the gas mask into like a two liter, and then <laughs> made a gravity bong out of it, and like you would just. And then, bro, oh my god. <laughs> bro, my friends used to make the gravity bongs out of the liter thing. Oh, yeah. that, that is the best. You, you just see the smoke like. Rise it's like so intimidating. You just shove it down to the and water. And he's like, all right, bro, you ready? Like, because you'd have to, like, clear the whole bowl, damn yeah. you. Like, bro. And, and I'd be, like, tweaked. I'd be like, I guess. Like, <laughs> hey, if the water didn't hit your lip. so high after If the that. water didn't hit your lip, you were bitch made. I remember that yeah. was the thing. You had to go all the way down. You had to let the water to, like, hit your lip. You had to, like, spit a little bit. Oof. That shit was wild. It would get so cloudy, it'd be like yellow. Yeah, it was yeah. so thick. We were thick. the we were stoners. That's how stoners. you know when you're getting stoned is when the, you're ripping the bong or some shit, and then yellow smoke starts coming. You're like, oh god. You almost throw up by coughing. Oh my god, I've definitely puked from coughing a couple times. I did one time. You'll puke just off anything, though. Mm-hmm. Wasn't this fresh into LA, right? Yeah, Bryant. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Um, that's, that's it for questions. I'm, I'm done with them. I have to pee so bad. You so. have to pee? What are we sitting at, Mo? Time was. We're at 107. 106. Hour 7? Yeah. I mean, I'm not mad at an hour 7. You know? I'm not mad at an like hour it. 7. You can keep it's it calm. short and sweet for this week. Yeah, I mean, come cool. We'll come. Collected. We'll come a little uh, with you know some more shit to talk about tomorrow. We kind of I don't know. We just came in fucking off the fly today. We did fly. We didn't fly. Happy birthday, Johnson. Thank you. Happy birthday, Johnson. Happy birthday. It's my Happy birthday right now, guys. B-day. It's not my birthday right now, but to you it is. Thursday. If you're watching it the day this comes out. <laughs> yeah, Correct. it's my birthday right now. Um, I'm gonna bring some. Scripts. All right, wait. 
Actually, we can we can touch on this next time. I'll ask one. Would you name your kid Garrett for two million dollars? <laughs> Fuck no, bro. I'm not gonna ruin his future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would name him Garrett for two million dollars and then legally change it. Or like, nah, nah, he's that's, that's, no, that's no. in the yeah, contract. I, don't, I didn't see that part. It's in the contract. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett right, for two. Garrett for two. What do you got? Or firstborn girl Pat for fifty million. You were sitting in your bed, had nothing to do, but little did you know there were four dudes who like talking shit while sipping their brews. Just make sure your parents don't. Tell your mom, cause it's out of pocket pot. Hey. Uh...